Does your backup light stay dimly lit even when you're not in reverse? Let's take care of that. Hey guys, today we are back working on our 2016 Polaris Ranger XP900. The issue we are taking a look at today is the LED backup light. So I installed this backup light a little while back and it was advertised as plug and play. It just basically has two wires coming out of it. It mounts to a couple of bolt holes that are already on the back of the machine there. Then once the Ranger gets put into reverse, this light will turn on and once it gets taken out of reverse, the light shuts off. So the issue that I'm having is as soon as the key turns on, this backup light is dimly lit. The Ranger is still in park, so the switch is turned off to this light, however it is still on. The first reason this could be happening is if the light itself isn't properly grounded and from what i understand the reverse light is triggered on and off through the ground cable it always has the 12 volt hot line going through to it and when the ranger is put into reverse the ground is connected completing the circuit i'm pretty sure we have a grounding issue here so what I decided to do was look for a relay to actually ground the light to the machine. And once it's grounded to the machine through the relay, we should resolve this issue. Okay, so what I picked up is a relay kit. And what this relay does is, so it's picking up the connection from the machine, outputting it to the light. However, it has the relay in the middle now with a dedicated ground that we will ground to the machine. Okay, so coming back to the machine here, I can see the light is now turned off. I'm just going to flip up the bed here to get access to the wiring. So just taking a look under the bed of the machine, uh, you can see these two wires right here. Uh, these are the wires coming from the Ranger and then out to the light. So we need to disconnect these two wires and get the relay put in between. So I've gone and grabbed a couple pliers here just to get these disconnected a little easier. Okay, now that I've got those disconnected, I can go grab my relay harness. So just to make this a little bit easier to work with, I think I'm going to mount the relay along with the ground to the body and frame to begin with and then we can work with the longer wires so right here on the bed this is just coming about straight down from the rear window uh, there is this mount here the right bolt that's holding this mount in is what we are going to be pulling off to then uh, secure our relay and ground and the socket needed to take this bolt off is a 10 millimeter. All right. So then once that's off, we can take our relay and our ground connector, which is the shortest one, put them right on top of each other. Then this bolt can be replaced right back where it was. Okay, before I secure that fully down, I'm just going to check my wiring just to make sure it's not going to be Rubbing up against anything that's going to be hot that could potentially melt it. Okay, with the wires out of the way, I'll go ahead and secure this all the way down.
And I'm snugging this bolt down, careful not to strip it out. Now I have the two wires remaining, the set that goes to the Ranger wiring and the set that goes to the light itself. I'm just going to route those through the engine bay and up to the wires where it's going to be nice and neat. And once you have the wires routed, then it's just red to red and black to black. So as far as the wires going to the light itself, my light currently has these quarter inch connectors already on them. The op option I have is to strip these wires and just use a wire nut or wire crimp connection to connect those wires together. However, I do have these quarter inch female quick disconnects that I can just put on the relay wiring and then those will just be quick disconnects to this wire. Either way, it'll work just fine. If you do decide that you wanted to put these crimp disconnects on there, all you're going to need is a wire strippers and a crimpers. This tool happens to have both in one. Once I have these crimp connectors ready to go, I can then route this cable through the Ranger engine bay and up to my light wiring. I have quite a bit of extra wiring. I'm gonna leave that back toward the cab of the Ranger. Uh, that way I can zip tie it back up toward where the relay is and it'll be tucked out of the way. Okay, so now with the wire connectors going to the light, I'll just take my connector portion of the relay kit and connect the red to red and black to black. Now that we have that all in place, I'm going to just turn the key onto the machine and do a double check that the light is functioning properly. All right, the key is on and it is in park. So I'm just gonna come back down here and check. And as you can see, the light is completely turned off right now, which is exactly what we want. If I come back to the cab and I put the machine in reverse, as you can see, the light is coming on nice and bright as it's supposed to be. Now that we've confirmed that the light is working exactly how we want it to, we can come back in underneath the bed and tuck away the uh, extra length wires and zip tie those as needed. All right guys, there you have it. That's how we take care of the dimly lit backup light even though the Ranger is not in reverse. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them and feel free to like and subscribe to the video. Thanks.